Click to open the software of Daqing 3D Mobile Beauty Master version 2015. For the newly installed software, when the software is opened, there will be a prompt of "Data folder does not exist." This is because the software hasn't been upgraded yet. Press and hold the Enter button on the keyboard until there is no pop-up window. By then, the software will be opened. Once the software is open, firstly we need to upgrade the software. The upgrade icon is on the upper right corner. Click this icon to open it. Here it will display your name. Below this dialog, this is the package file. Click here to find the upgrade package. Select the software CD, the file with the name that starts with KFSE contains the upgrade package. The file with an .mdp suffix is the upgrade package. Select the file, and then click Open, and then click Start Upgrade. Since the data is so large. It takes a few minutes for the upgrading process. Please be patient. Once the installation completed, there will be a prompt of "Model data upgrade succeeded," and then click OK. Now turn off the software and then restart. After open the software, here we can see the mobile phone models that we just updated. Next, let's take a look at the software interface. The software interface can be divided into seven areas. Firstly, let's take a look at those different icons on the top. This is the menu bar, which contains various functional menus. The operation area. Is on the left, which contains some tools for editing image attributes. This is the layer attribute selection area, where displays abundant mobile phone models and pictures. This is the design area, from where you can preview the design effect and modify the parameters of the layer. This is the quick save area, from where you can save your designs. This is the news section, where displays company news. Once the computer is connected with internet, it will automatically update the news. This is the status bar, where displays the current status and the keyboard shortcuts. For the newly installed software, we also need to set the parameters of the printer and cutter. Click Options button. Firstly, let's set the parameters of the printer. Click Setup. Here you can see the printer names. Select your corresponding printer. Click the Properties. It will pop up a corresponding properties window. For the quality option, usually we choose the photo. But if you want higher quality picture, you can select the best photo. This is the paper option setting. For the source, select sheet. For the type, select Epson Premium Glossy. For the size, select A4 size, and then click OK. Now the printer setting is OK. Click OK. Next, let's set the parameters of the cutter. Select the corresponding cutter. For A4 size cutter, select A158. For A3 size cutter, select B168. After setting the name, let's set the parameters of the paper. 
For A4 size cutter, select A4 row 210 and 2000 mm. For the A3 size cutter, select A3 row 297 and 2000 mm. And then click OK. Back to the options window. Tick the little box in front of the Enable Adjustment. For the vertical, paper moving, set the ideal length to 1000. Set the actual length to 990. For the horizontal, pen moving, just keep the default setting is OK. And then click OK.